Scientists from CELC and the National University of Singapore NUS, have uncovered a plant hormone that can boost plant growth by 30%. This exciting discovery holds great promise for food security. My name is Sanjay. I am a professor here at the National University of Singapore, Department of Biological Sciences. I also work with CELC and we work on plants and how microbes associate or coexist with these plants. So we try to understand how they communicate with each other. So the context for this work is that we were studying the beneficial microbes that work to help plants grow better, become more resistant to the harsh environment, become resistant to the diseases and pests. We decided to put one on the plant. But as a control, we put the microbe away from the plant. And lo and behold, at a distance from the plant roots, then they started benefiting the plants. Uh, Ten years after that initial observation, we found that they communicate through some gas-like molecules, which can travel through air. We set up some new ways to identify molecules in the volatile form or gaseous form traveling through the air. Methyl jasmonide is a chemical released by the plant and it is classically known as plant uh, defense hormone. Plant root release methyl jasmonate as a volatile organic compound and that signals the soil microbiome to form biofilm. Interestingly, we found that microbes that respond to methyl jasmonide and form biofilms in turn release even more volatile and they help the plant grow better. So, it is a two-way communication where plants release a compound to stabilize the bacteria in a biofilm mode and then biofilm return the favor by releasing volatiles that will promote plant growth. Our research has shown that methyl jasmonate influenced biofilm can improve the plant growth by up to 30% and this 30% increase is going to make a massive impact for our food security. The impact of this discovery is key to sustainable agriculture. Harnessing these agricultural microbes will not only boost crop productivity, but also reduce the need for synthetic inputs and mitigate the environmental impact of modern farming practices.